for ball clipped into the box by Fielding headed away by the defender Ross collects 20 yards out and tries the shot but it's always rising he didn't really ever get set properly for it he was stretching a little bit on his left foot there and it's not a surprise that he sent that too high and it's over the bar for a goal kick driven forward long headed away by Pollock Nudged back forward there by Weston challenged for on the far side by McEwen but it's Buxton who come away with the ball and Shields plays it back forward and it's gone in behind and Burrow's going to get there as he to the byline he tries to put the ball back into the box to Girolamo arriving and well it's done. a goal saving challenge from Curtis on the edge of the six yard area there he hooked his foot around the ball and blocked the shot I think it must have ricocheted back off to Girolamo because it's a goal kick as well well there's a, a really important intervention there from the Moors skipper He's played it into the edge of the box and it's put back in the middle by Digirolamo. It's something off the training ground. He chips it towards the far post. And Montgomery is there to claim it. But well, something that Buxton have worked on there, certainly. Don't know if there was any blocker on in there because Digirolamo got a lot of space just to the left of the centre of the penalty spot there to strike on goal. He didn't really get hold of it cleanly. Here's Staunton now. That's a nice looking ball for McEwen's run down the left hand side. He's going to get there ahead of Minahan as well. He checks back inside of the fullback and gives it to Fielding Fielding clever footwork to get away down to the byline now this is really good enterprise and play on the ball in the middle Taylor's waiting to pounce he can't quite get to the pieces he may still though because Buxton made a real meal of getting that clear and they've eventually managed to smuggle it out on the far side for a throw the ball came in it looked like it was going to be Durnley's but uh, it somehow popped out and Taylor was interested but he couldn't quite get in the position to strike I think that whole attack sort of somewhat Scrap described this game, didn't it? Which is scrappy in there, and then even when we win the ball back, they're scrapping again and it's just bouncing around. It's just needs someone to grab it by the scruff of the neck and add a little bit of quality, doesn't it? Can Reese Staunt and find that quality from this right wing corner? Plenty of movement in the middle. Curtis and Pollock have both joined the attack. We've seen them cause problems. Taylor nods it back into the middle. Ramshaw oh, headed down, and then Curtis with the oh. header off the line there. Well, James Curtis almost. Scored his first this season, the ball comes back in and then there's a chance! In. And it's Rob Ramshaw! And Moore's lead here on 27 minutes! The ball came back in from the left-hand side, Ramshaw left all alone at the front part of the six-yard area. And he nods home the opening goal of this game and Moore's lead here at the Silverland Stadium. Just said, didn't we? We just needed someone a little bit of quality. We've had a few bits there. Staunton's first ball in from the corner is absolutely excellent. It's right into a good area and straight onto Taylor's head. We can get it back across. It's clearly a training ground move. But then when Taylor gets the ball outside on that left hand side, the ball in is so dangerous. It just needs someone to flick it in, and that's exactly what Ramshaw does. Durnley. Long ball forward. Burrow gets up well. McEwen for Buxton now left hand side he's got Francis Angol on the overlap here he is now Francis Angol turns inside and nudges the ball in the edge of the box to Girolamo lays it off for Burrow this is dangerous smart with the drive it's over the bar well that was as dangerous as Buxton have looked in this first half there it was good work by Francis Angol who turned inside from the left to drive towards the edge of the Moors penalty area Burrows and Di Girolamo both involved as well smart trying to drive a shot with the outside of his boot Sam Smart with the corner <laughs> on the left hand side it's whipped in deep there it's a dangerous <gasps> one and Granite's got free and his header is deflected behind it's he's not, appealing for handball <coughs> it's not handball but what it is is a free header Spedding move just completely switched off they've had a short corner and a long one and both times we've switched off he leaves it in the end for Minahan Minahan's long ball Throwing down this right-hand side is McEwen trying to put a ball in the box. Burrow oh, did not quite get there. there and it's fallen for Smart and Smart didn't get hold of it at all there. It landed quite kindly for him, 20, 22 yards out. But he couldn't get the shot with any venom on target and Montgomery grateful to clear, collect that one. Ball forward, collected now by Minahan. Back to Durnley again. Durnley's ball forward. Burrow goes and wins the header. Staunton 
trying to get to the second ball. Did you roll him? Oh. pushed him off it there, has he? He comes inside with the ball and tries to slip it through a gap, but Pollock again sticks his leg out and makes a crucial intervention. And Moors have worked that really Running. nicely into space on the halfway line for Ramshaw now. And it's slipped oh. through a gap, and McEwen's going to get there ahead of Durnley. But Durnley charges out at his feet and claims the ball. It just looked like he was going to get there first, Corey McEwen. But Durnley was quick out to his feet. Well, he's 25 yards from goal. It's to the right of centre here. Glenn Taylor, there's no other Spenny Moore player anywhere near the ball. I think we all know what's happening here. Durnley in that goal must be prepared as Taylor strides up to this one can he do anything with it Glenn Taylor it's through the gap and it's just wide I think the keeper's got a hand on it actually as it went through there and it's gone behind for a left wing corner got it past the wall Glenn Taylor but Durnley sprung into action Montgomery Go using the absence of Minahan they play the ball left hand side for Fielding and it's a wonderful first touch by Sam Fielding Taylor's in the middle so too is Harris yes it's 2-0 here on 79 minutes a sweeping counter attack started by Montgomery finished by Will Harris Moors a 2-0 up here at Buxton and closing in on being the first side to win here since January that for Montgomery was incredible that is an unbelievable ball just spots fielding in all that space and, and take nothing away from him as well that's an unbelievable touch and he drives towards goal and it's a great cross but that is exactly what Moore's needed we've soaked up so much pressure there and we just release it like that that is exactly what we needed what a way to respond to this second half of just fielding with our backs Ferguson gives it back to Montgomery and well Montgomery done. calmly gives it to well Curtis done. And now here's Ferguson with a bit of space on the far side. Here's Shanks now. Oh, it's a wonderful first touch. And he's got a weird on the right-hand side. Harris is in the middle. Shanks is going on his own, though, at the moment. Left-footed Shanks. Oh, it's straight at Turnley. Do better if we can. Now we have to work back. He'd done all the hard work, Shanks, there, hadn't he? He had, he, he, he cut back inside on his, it's all albeit his weaker foot obviously, but he, he got a decent strike on it, but it was too close to the goalkeeper who was able to just gobble it up. 